So slides are a great and relatively easy technique to use to create a diverse and interesting sound to your solos and licks and even fills. And um, basically what you want to do is use the tip of your fingers and fret a note. So we're going to start just with the first finger, the index finger, and go to the second string, fifth fret, one, two, three, four, five, up to the fifth fret, and um, fret this note E and play that. And then what we're going to do is just slide down two frets to the note D. That will be on the third fret. So it's going to go E, and then we're going to sort of release some of the, the pressure on the string and just literally slide your, the first finger down. Like that. If you keep pressing down on the guitar with a lot of strength, it's not going to be very pleasant to slide your hand down. So try to release, play the note and fret it in a way so that it's a full sound. And then release a little bit of the pressure, not all of it, and just slide down. Then we can try the opposite and go up. So we'll start on the D note, which is the third fret of the B string. One, two, three. And third fret here, tip of our index finger. I don't know if it's visible. You might be able to see a little bit of a mark on my index finger there. What you're going to do is just play that D and then slide up to the E, two frets. So let's try that again. Now let's try sliding from the D to the E and then back down. So it will sound like this D to E and then back down. And all together. Try that for a moment. Now let's shift positions and go up to the third string, fifth fret. This is going to be the note C. And right there. So one, two, three, four, five on your third string. Fret that note with your index finger, tip of the index finger, and then slide up two frets from the C to the D. Let's try that. Slide C to the D. Once again, C to D. And then let's slide down from D to C. Okay, practice that a few times on your own. Now let's try a more athletic, if you will, slide where we're going to slide from the note E all the way up to the note G. And this is on the second string of our guitar. So we're going to go from the second string, fifth fret, one, two, three, four, five, note E, all the way up to the eighth fret, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, the note G. So from E to G. And slide down then from the G to the E. Now, let's combine those two types of slides from the E to the G, and then from, let's go to the G string, the third string, and play the C to the D. So it'll sound like this. Okay, try that for a minute, or a few seconds. Now let's do the opposite. Let's go from the third string to the second string and we'll slide from the C to the D and then the E to the G. So it sounds like this. Okay, and just as an example, here is a, a little lick that I'm going to play with fretted notes and then I'm going to add some slides and I'd like you to hear and see how it sounds. You might have seen and heard that I 
slid from the E note up to the G, and then I slid from the D to, rather the C to the D. And this gives a more vocal, like a vocalist type quality to your notes. And later on we're going to look at some other techniques that also add a lot of color to your playing. So lastly, what I'd like you to do is practice these slides by going one fret higher each time. So this is the way it's going to look. You, let's start on the D note, and it's kind of arbitrary where on the guitar you start for this. You, you can start this exercise on any string, any fret, but it's best to start sort of lower, closer to the head of the guitar with this. So let's go from the D, and then we're just going to go up to the E flat, the adjacent uh, fret here. And then we'll just go try it one more time. And we'll do that four times in a row. from the D up to the E, and try that four times in a row. And then we're going to go from the D to the F. And then from the D to the F sharp, you're getting the idea we're going one fret higher each time. So. So try that exercise on all of the strings. You can keep going a lot higher. It's not as common in rock music to play this kind of thing. But it does give a little spice to your playing, so try that out as well. So here's the same exercise on the D string, the fourth string. Then two frets. Three frets. 